When you're buying your first hot tub, there are a number of questions that you should really look at um, asking your retailer uh, or the salesperson before you purchase the hot tub. And it real bo really boils down to four things. Um, number one, uh, the reputation of the retailer. Make sure that you understand how long they've been in business, how long they've been carrying this line of hot tubs, how long the manufacturer of the hot tubs have been in business. That's critical because you'll know from those uh, questions on um, the reputation that the, the, uh, the retailer has with the manufacturer. Make sure you ask the retailer, do they service their own brand of hot tubs or do they subcontract it out? Ask them, do they stock the parts for the hot tub? Again, all around customer service. Make sure that you understand kind of who is taking care of your hot tub, whether it's the retailer or whether they're subcontracting another company to do it. Number two, make sure they get into a hot tub. Uh, a hot tub will not be comfortable wet if it's not comfortable dry. Don't, don't let any salesperson convince you that, oh, you know what, the buoyancy of the water will make it more comfortable. If it's not comfortable, if there's something sticking into your back, a jet or a rib on the hot tub, um, when you're in there dry, it's not going to be comfortable wet. Trust me on that. Um, so make sure you get into the hot tub and, and you know to further that point number two if they have a running hot tub make sure that you test the running hot tub um, you know, the majority of the people that are buying a hot tub are buying it for massage for stress relief to relieve aches and pains so that's probably one of the more critical things that you want to do when you get into uh, talking to a retailer seriously about buying a hot tub is trying it out dry and if you can try it out wet it'll give you a whole new perspective on what the hot tub is because I'll tell you what the last thing you want to do is buy a hot tub that's too uh, too deep or too shallow when you get into it um, it's it's not a comfortable experience when you get in and out of the hot tub uh, number three make sure that when you get to a retailer ask them about how much is that hot tub going to cost per day to run. It should be in the literature, it shouldn't be hidden anywhere. It should be in the literature, it should tell you exactly based on the electrical rates where you're at what the hot tub approximately should run for. Any hot tub that is of quality should be running that. Now understand this is not only electrical costs, this is electrical and chemical costs should run you for less than a dollar a day. Um, depending on the size, if you get a you know a 10 to 12 person, it might be a little bit more, but anything in the normal range, kind of 8 to 10 or uh, you know uh, 3 to 8, should be running for less than a dollar a day. Uh, the last thing, in my opinion, that you want to ask for a um, ask a retailer is uh, what's the maintenance like when 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 owning a hot tub? Is it going to be hard? Is it going to be uh, you know, um, a lot of work to maintain the chemistry, a lot of work to maintain the clarity of the hot tub. What are the things that are involved with uh, maintaining the hot tub? Because the last thing you want to do is create a headache. You want to relieve headaches with hot tubs. You want to create time, more time for